Hello mga ka JTV. In this video lesson, we will discuss about solving equation involving radical expressions. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to identify radical equations and solve equation involving radical expressions. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe at pindutin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga upload kong mga video lessons. Pindutin din like button sa iba ba kung nakatulong itong video lesson sa iyo. So, let's begin! First, define muna natin kung ano ba yung radical equation. A radical equation is an equation in which the variable appears in a radical. So, ibig sabihin nito, yung radical equa equation daw, may makikita tayong variable sa loob ng radical sign. So, iyon lang yung pinakasimpleng definition kung ano ba yung radical equa equation. Makakita lang tayo ng variable sa loob ng radical sign. So, magbigay tayo ng mga example ng radical equation. Yung square root of x plus 5 equals 9 is a radical equation kasi meron tayong makikitang variable na radicand or meron tayong makikitang variable sa, lo sa loob ng radical sign. So, makoconsider natin yan as radical equation. Next is cube root of 2x minus 7 equals 3. So, we can consider this as radical equation since may nakapasok na variable sa loob ng radical sign. And ito naman, fifth root of x equals negative 3. So, radical equation din ito kasi meron tayong radical na variable or meron tayong variable sa loob ng radical sign. So, magbigay naman tayo ngayon ng mga example ng not radical equation. Yung x plus 2 equals 12, hindi yan radical equation kasi wala tayong nakikitang uh, radical. Yung x plus 5 equals square root of 9, hindi rin siya radical equation kasi kahit na meron siyang radical, yung radical niya ay hindi naman variable. So, kailangan variable yung nasa loob ng radical sign. Next is 3x square minus square root of 10x equals 2. So, again, hindi ito radical equation kasi yung variable x dito ay hindi naman nakapasok dito sa radical sign. Yung nakapasok lang sa radical sign ay yung 10. In solving radical equations, we can use the fact that if two numbers are equal, then their squares are equal. In symbols, if a equals b, then a square is equal to b square. So, kagaya lang ito nung uh, binabanggit ko lagi dati na uh, kung nag-square ka dito sa left side, kailangan mag-square ka rin dito sa right side para palagi siyang balance. Or kung nag-divide ka ng 2 dyan sa left side, kailangan mag-divide ka rin ng 2 dyan sa right side para equal pa rin sila. Or mag-multiply ka ng 5 sa left side, dapat mag-multiply ka rin ng 5 sa right side. So, para maging balance siya. So, gagamitin kasi natin ito, itong concept na ito na pag-square both sides. Uh, mamaya sa pagsusolve natin ng radical equation. To solve radical equation, if follow na natin itong mga steps na ito. So, step 1, arrange the terms of the equation so that one term with radical is by itself on one side of the equation. So, gagawin natin, i-arrange natin yung equation natin, ititira lang natin sa isang side yung expression na merong radical. So, kailangan mag-isa lang siya doon. Step 2 is raise both sides of the equation by the index of the radical. Kung um, square root yon, i-square natin both sides ng equation. Kapag cube root yon, i-cube natin both sides of the equation. So, yung number na nire-raise natin both sides ay magdidepende doon sa index ng radical. Step 3 is factor expressions that are factorable and combine similar terms. So, pagkatapos natin dyan is, sa step 2 is, uh, baka may ma-encounter tayo ng mga expressions na factorable. So, pwede natin i-factor yun and pwede natin i-combine lahat ng similar terms. Step number 4, if a radical still remains, 
repeat steps 1 to 3. So, um, kapag meron pa rin tayong nakikitang radical at hindi pa natin to na, na, natatanggal, pwede nating ulitin yung step 1, 2, and 3. Okay? So, yung target kasi natin dyan is kailangan ma-eliminate natin yung radical. At hinahanap natin dito ay yung value ng variable natin. Step 5 is solve for the variable. Okay? And then, step 6, check your solutions to determine extraneous solutions. So, kailangan natin i-check lagi yung nakuha natin solutions kasi nagkakaroon tayo ng extraneous solutions. So, sa mga following uh, slides natin or sa examples, i-discuss natin yung extraneous roots. Extraneous roots or solutions na yan. Example number 1. Solve cube root of x equals 2. So, we have the uh, radical equation cube root of x equals 2. So, dito naka-isolate naman yung expression na may radical. So, yung gagawin lang natin is magpo-proceed tayo dun sa step number 2. So, dito yung index natin ay 3. So, ang gagawin natin yan is i-raise natin both side ng equation sa 3. So, lalagyan natin both side ng equation ng exponent na 3. Kung ano yung index niya dyan. So, i-write natin as ganyan. Cube root of x uh, raised to 3, 2 raised to 3. So, ginagawa kasi natin yan para makancel natin or matanggal natin itong radical. Kaya natin siya nire-raise sa, sa number Kung, kung ano yung number nung index. So, kung ita-transform mo kasi yan into exponential form, that is x raised to 3 over 3. And 3 over 3, that is 1. Kaya ang matitira lang mamaya dito ay yung x. So, simplify natin. Matatanggal na yung cube root, uh, cube root dito. So, matitira lang yung radical natin x. So, makakancel kasi itong cube root at saka itong exponent na 3. And, si 2 raised to 3 ay equal to 8. Okay, so, nag-cube root tayo sa left side, kailangan mag-cube, uh, sorry, nag-cube tayo sa left side, kailangan mag-cube din tayo sa right side. So, kung anong ginawa natin sa left, yun din yung gagawin natin sa right. So, dito, nakuha natin value ng variable natin ay 8. And then, after that, since nakuha natin yung value ng variable natin, i-check natin. So, paano yung pag-check nito? We substitute the value of x to the original equation, cube root of x equals 2. So, isasubstitute natin itong nakuha natin value na x na 8 dito sa original equation. So, palitan ko lang si x ng nakuha natin uh, value ng x dito na 8. So, that is cube root of 8 equals 2. So, cube root ng 8, di ba, ay 2. So, this is 2 equals 2. So, dito, Ma magkikita natin na equal siya, di ba? So, ibig sabihin yan, itong 8 na ito ay solution dun sa original equation natin. So, yun yung answer natin. X equals 8. Next is, solve square root of X minus 5 equals 3. So, dito, hindi naka-isolate si... Uh, square root of x yung radical natin. So, kailangan wala kasi siyang kasamang term uh, dyan sa left side. Kailangan i-isolate natin siya. So, gagawin natin, ililipat natin si negative 5 sa right side. So, from negative 5, nilipat natin sa right side naging positive 5. And, combine natin to similar terms itong 5 at saka 3. That is 8. So, we have square root of x equals 8. And then, i-square natin both side. I-release natin sa 2 itong dalawang expression na ito. So, ba magdidepende tayo dun sa index ng given radical natin para makancel natin tong radical sign. So, gagawin natin square natin both sides. So, we have quantity square root of x square, 8 square. And then, matatanggal na natin to, ma makakancel na natin yung radical. So, magkakaroon lang tayo ng x, yung radical lang na x, and 8 square, that is 64. And then, I-check natin. Substitute the value of x to the original equation, square root of x minus 5 equals 3. So, balitan lang natin si x dito ng 64. So, substitute natin si 64 sa x. That is 
square root of 64 that is 8 so we have 8 minus 5 and 8 minus 5 that is 3 so 3 equals 3 so makikita natin dito na equal sila di ba so ibig sabihin niyan itong 64 ay solution doon sa original uh, radical equation natin Next is, solve y minus 4 equals square root of 2y. So, dito, naka-isolate naman si uh, square root of 2y. So, wala naman siyang kasama, di ba? So, i-square root, uh, square na natin yan both side. So, uh, lagyan natin ng exponent ng na 2, left at right ng equation. So, para makakancel itong radical dito. And then, Ito kasi pwede nating kung alam nyo pa yung um, shortcut ng pag-expand ng uh, square of binomial, pwede nyo nang apply. Pero para para sa iba na hindi pa nakakaalam, gagawin na lang natin yung FOIL method dito. So ito pwede nating i-rewrite as uh, quantity y minus 4 times quantity y minus 4. At ito namang square root of 2y na ito, makakancel na yung radical niya. So we have 2y. And then apply lang natin dito yung a FOIL method. So, makuha natin ay y square minus 4y minus 4y plus 16. So, y times y, that is y square. y times negative 4, that is negative 4y. Negative 4 times y, that is negative 4y. And negative 4 times negative 4, that is positive 16. And then, combine natin yung like terms, negative 4y, negative 4y. Combine natin that, that is negative 8. So, we have y square minus 8y plus 16 equals 2y. And then, pwede rin natin i-transpose itong 2y sa left side kasi pwede natin siyang i-combine dito sa negative 8y. So, we have um, y square minus 8y plus 16 minus 2y. So, uh, like terms ito, negative 8y and negative 2y. So, that is negative 10y. So, we have the expression or equation y square minus 10y plus 16 equals 0. And then dito, since ito naman ay factorable, by factoring method, mapafactor, mapafactor natin yan, di ba? So, kukuha tayo ng factors ng 16 na magbibigay ng sum na negative 10. At yung mga factors na yun ay quantity y minus 8 times uh, quantity y minus 2. Negative 8 times negative 2, that is positive 16. And negative 8 plus negative 2, that is negative 10. And then, by applying zero product property, equate lang natin yung dalawang factors na yan sa zero. So, we have y minus 8 equals 0 and y minus 2 equals 0. Transpose negative 8 to the right side of the equation, we have y equals 8. And transpose negative 2 to the right side of the equation, we have y equals 2. Ngayon, nakuha na natin yung value ng mga variables natin. I-check natin ngayon itong mga nakuha natin ito by substituting sa original equation. So, by checking, so we have the original equation y minus 4 equals square root of 2y at yung mga nakuha nating value ng y which is 8 at 2. So, substitute natin uh, itong 8 dito sa given uh, original equation natin. So, 8 minus 4 equals square root of 2. Palitan lang natin si y ng 8. And then, 2 times 8 that is 16 and square root of 16 that is 4. So, 4 equals 4. So, ibig sabihin yan, si 8 ay solution doon sa uh, original equation natin. And then, ito namang 2. Substitute natin siya dito sa original equation. So, we have uh, 2 minus 4 equals square root of 2 times 2. And then, 2 times 2, that is 4. And 2 minus 4, that is negative 2. And square root of 4 is positive 2. So, dito, magkikita natin na hindi sila equal. Pero, tama naman yung solution natin or steps na ginawa natin. Ngayon, ang tawag natin ngayon dito, since hindi siya naging equal, ang tawag natin dito sa tatlo na ito ay extraneous root, roots or solution. So, it is a solution of the transformed equation but not the original equation. So, nang nangyayari talaga itong extraneous roots na ito kapag nag square tayo both side ng equation. Na, um, possible na makakuha tayo ng ganyang solution. So, no? uh, we call that extraneous roots. Kapag tinransform natin yung isang radical equation, 
Siyempre, mag, ano ka, mag, mag square ka both side or kung ano man yung index nun. Then, kaya nangyayari itong extraneous roots na ito. Next is, solve square root of 2x plus 1 minus square root of x minus 3 equals 2. So, ang gagawin natin dito ay, um, ito transpose na lang natin itong negative square root of x minus 3 sa right side. Kasi kung square natin to, uh, square, square natin to agad, baka uh, mas umaba yung solution natin. So, ililipat ko na lang ito sa right side. Sa so, makuha natin ay ganito. So, nalipat na siya sa right side. And then, uh, dyan natin siya square So, yung index niyan ay 2, di ba? So, square natin both side. And then, um, ito, makakancel na yung radical niya dito. So, matitira lang dyan ay 2x plus 1. And ito, apply lang natin yung foil method. Okay, so, yan na. Natanggal na yung radical dito. 2x plus 1 na lang ito. And ito, ipo-foil method natin. So, 2 times 2, that is 4. 2 times square root of x minus 3, that is 2. Square root of x minus 3. Ito naman, square root of x minus 3 times 2. Same pa rin, 2 square root of x minus 3. And ito naman, uh, square root of x minus 3 times square root of x minus 3. Since magkapare sila ng radikan, di ba? So, parang magiging ano lang yan. Square root of um, x minus 3 is square. So, makakancel lang dito yung radical. Kaya, nakuha natin dito ay x minus 3. Yung radical na lang yung nalagay natin. Kasi makakancel na siya. And then, uh, pwede natin combine yung mga similar terms. Yung 4 at yung negative 3 dito. So, we have 1. Okay? And then, ito naman, uh, similar terms din ito, similar radicals. Itong 2 square root of x minus 3 at saka 2 square root of x minus 3. So, we copy the common uh, radical which is square root of x minus 3 and add natin yung coefficient nila na 2. So, 2 plus 2 that is 4. And meron tayong x doon kaya meron tayong x dito. And then, it transpose natin cx sa left side at c1 sa left side. Kasi meron siyang, meron silang kasimilar ano doon, similar terms. So, transpose ko si x magiging negative x sa left side and c1, ito transpose ko siya sa left magiging siyang negative 1. And 1 minus 1, that is 0. So, cancelled out na ito. And 2x minus x, that is x only. So, makuha natin ay x equals 4 square root of x minus 3. So, dito, hindi pa rin natin na, ano, natanggal yung um, radical. So, babalik ulit tayo dun sa step 1. So, square natin yan both side. Okay? So, yan, nag-square na ako dun sa x at ito sa uh, expression na sa right side. And then, uh, simplify lang natin, tandaan nyo na, itong exponent na 2 na ito, i-distribute rin natin siya sa 4. So, 4 squared, that is 16, and i-distribute natin dito sa square root of x minus 3. So, makakancel lang itong uh, radical niya. So, matitira lang ay x minus 3. And then, distribute natin sa 16 sa x tsaka sa negative 3. So, we have 16x uh, 16 times negative 3, that is negative 48. And then, i-transpose natin si 16x tsaka negative 48 sa left side ng equation. So, we have x square minus 16x plus 48 equals 0. And then, i-factor natin ito. So, yung factors niyan ay x minus 4, x minus 12. So, negative 4 times negative 12, that is positive 48. At kapag pinag-add naman natin sila, ay makukuha natin ay negative 16x. And then, by zero product property, equate natin itong dalawang factor sa zero. So, we have x minus 4 equals zero and x minus 12 equals zero. Transpose negative 4 sa right side ng equation, we have x equals 4. And transpose natin si negative 12 sa right side, kukuha natin ay x equals 12. So, ito na yung values ng mga variables natin. So, i-check natin ngayon kung... Uh, solution ito dun sa original equation or baka may makuha na naman tayong extraneous roots. So, yan yung original equation natin and ito yung mga nakuha nating values ng variable natin, 4 and 12. So, unahin natin si 4. So, gamit itong original equation, palitan lang natin si x ng 4. So, yan siya. 
sinubstitute na natin si 4, and then simplify na lang natin. So ito, 2 times 4 that is 8, plus 1 that is 9, kaya nakuha yung 9 dito. 4 minus 3 that is 1. And then simplify lang natin, square root of 9 that is 3, and square root of 1 that is 1. And 3 minus 1 that is 2. So we have 2 equals 2. Ibig sabihin niyan, si 4 ay solution doon sa original radical equation natin. Next is 12. So, palitan lang natin yung mga x dyan ng 12. So, ito yung 12, sinapsitute natin. And then, simplify lang natin. So, 2 times 12, that's 24, plus 1, that's 25. And 12 minus 3, that is 9. Square root of 25, that is 5. And square root of 9, that is 3. And 5 minus 3, that is 2. So, equal pa rin siya. So, ibig sabihin niyan, si 12 ay solution din dun sa original equation natin. Okay, so hanggang dito na lang yung video lesson natin. Sana meron kayong natutunan. Hanggang sa muli, paalam.